Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Love having you join me here on my YouTube channel. Thanks for all the lovely comments recently as well. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to say that I'm putting a lot of effort into bringing new content for you guys. And if you have anybody, any friends, anyone that you know that you think would like my channel, then please share it with them. Just imagine if everybody that watches this video shared it with one other person. Uh, I would be so, so grateful because I'm really trying to grow my audience and help as many people as possible get an understanding of what life is like here in Dubai. Sorry, I've just walked over to the window and my camera can't catch up with me. I'm still getting used to this new camera, by the way, but I hope you're enjoying the kind of improved quality of video. Um... You're probably thinking that this girl lives in Dubai and she's wearing a woolly jumper. I know. Well, it's cloudy outside still. It's cloudy still. It was in my last vlog I was complaining about it. I'm just looking out of the window um, at some of the traffic that's going on here in JVC. It is Thursday morning and I just think to myself, God, I am really grateful that I'm not commuting in that traffic because it has gotten so, so bad here in JVC. And I just couldn't deal with that. I'm feeling grateful that I can work from home. Another thing I'm feeling grateful for is being able to plan my schedule around my needs. You might remember in my last video, I went to this workshop um, kind of discussion about cycle syncing for women. Um, it was really interesting and I really do want to start keeping track of my cycle a little bit more because I've always been one of these people that just doesn't really pay attention to what's going on and then it's always a surprise and I always think, oh, that's why I was crying the other day. But I really do want to keep on top of tracking it and they were saying that there's, you know, different foods you can eat and kind of different ways of moving and exercising to make you feel good. And that's what I want to do. And yet, yeah, within that same kind of way of thinking, I'm feeling glad that today I'm listening to my body and I don't want to go to the office. I've been going to the um, co-working space, to the bureau, twice a week, which I have been really liking. And it is nice to get out of the apartment, but I feel like uh, it just came over me yesterday. I wanted to start my vlog yesterday, but I just was not feeling it. I was just feeling so fatigued and low mood and stressed and I was just like no no way am I gonna nobody's gonna watch a vlog when I'm feeling like this and I am still feeling a little bit like that to be fair but I'm doing my best because I really wanted to do a little vlog for you guys and, and I kind of love this new era of just like being open and being honest and just you know letting you guys know what is actually going on um and what is going on well i'll tell you um what's going on is that it's quite expensive for me to live here in dubai on my own um connor is spending some time in the uk um because he's kind of like trying to grow his business and also he wants to look for another job so he's just kind of in between at the moment, which has left me to kind of cover everything here on my own, which is quite difficult and quite stressful. And and I've decided that it makes no sense for me to have two bedrooms here all to myself. So I am going to be renting out the room in our spare room over the next few weeks. Um, so just gonna be a bit of changes going on. I've been rearranging furniture. I've been just, it's quite stressful to think about. Um, I think that's been getting me down a bit because I think it's just not ideal. But anyway, I, don't, I didn't want to start this vlog on such a like negative note, but I'm just keeping it real. Anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, about cycle syncing. Um, and they kind of used the reference of your luteal phase being almost like autumn in your life. Um, the menstrual phase is winter, but I feel like I am in the autumn right now. I just want to like, curl up and I just, oh, I made an amazing meal for myself last night. I was tempted to order delivery, but I decided to make it um, myself instead. And I made a vegan carbonara and it was just so comforting and delicious. And, but I also kind of felt good about it because I knew exactly what was in it because I made it myself. Um, kind of had some veggies in there and some protein so I felt good about it um yeah anyway sorry I feel like I'm I'm 
going off on so many tangents um but what i'm trying to say is i'm just taking it easy today and i'm not going to the co-working space and i'm i think i am going to go to pilates still because even though usually on a thursday i would have maybe gone on a run or i would have gone to do a strength workout as well as pilates but I just feel like that's a bit much for me today. I just want to move, but in like a slow way. Um, and I'm just going to relax. And I have ordered Joe and the juice. You knew that was coming. I've ordered Joe and the juice. Um, so I'm just going to have a bit of a slow morning. And I am feeling grateful that I can do this. Because I feel like all companies, any, any woman, in fact any person, that feels like at some point in the month they need to take a slow day should be able to do that because sometimes it's so needed and i remember when i was working full-time in an office you just kind of have to power through so i'm feeling like now that i'm my own boss i'm definitely just gonna say to myself take it easy mabel it's okay take it easy you know sometimes you can just do the bare minimum not that i'm even doing the bare minimum because i feel like i have i am on top of everything with work it's more just like being a bit slower with it, I don't know. The sun's actually just come out, which is quite nice. Getting a little bit of sunlight here by my window while I look at all these people commuting. Um, and what else is going on? Yeah, like I said, I've been rearranging furniture. Uh, I've been doing my ice baths, which has been good. Good, I'd say it's been really good. I think I, I do notice feeling good after it. It's a nice feeling. Um, I'm gonna stick at it and yeah i feel like that's all i've got to update you on right now i'm going to enjoy my joe and the juice and then i'm going to go to pilates it's a bar pilates class and i've been doing it for the past few weeks and i feel like i know what to expect it's not too intense and then i might go on a walk outside and get some fresh air and then later this afternoon i have i do have a call with one of my clients but that's okay i can manage a meeting and then I have my Italian lesson. So what I've actually just been doing while I've been waiting for my delivery is doing a little bit of, um, like I've been trying to keep a daily journal, but in Italian to just like practice, but it's quite difficult. But anyway, so that's what I've been doing. So now I'm going to enjoy my Joe and the Deuce. I got my usual order. In fact, should I just put it there? Let's see what I've got. It's my usual order, so. Won't be any surprises. Soy milk, ice latte, vegan avocado sandwich. Oh yeah. Now that is a treat to help get me feeling good again. I'm definitely going to enjoy this. I'm still not over it. Like I still just crave these so bad. They're so yummy. Um Oh wait, have I got avocado on my face as well? <laughs> so I'm gonna go to Dubai Hills Mall now, which is a nice way to spend a Friday afternoon. Uh, the reason I'm going there is as I'm going to check out Isla and Evie's new Valentine's Day collection. And I loved their holiday collection that I got before Christmas. I got so many cute pajamas. I'm quite excited to see what they have. So let's order a taxi and get going to Dubai Hills Mall. Well, guys, I think I underestimated how much I need to charge that new camera of mine because Every time I want to use it, it just like won't turn on. And I think I just need to remember to charge it. So, sorry, I'm back on my iPhone. Um, and I, as you can see, I'm in Dubai Hills Mall. It's pretty busy because it is a Friday afternoon. But I'm just arriving to Isla and Evie. Oh, well, they've got balloons up. Why is this making me so happy? I love, I love the theme. Um, so today I'm going to be having a look at their, their Valentine's collection. Lots of pinks, lots of reds. So I'm going to try and have a little look, pick up some bits. Okay, let's have a look at the new Valentine's collection. I mean, immediately, yes, to be honest. I'm definitely leaning more towards black with subtle bits of red. Oh, that is kind of cute. That is kind of amazing. On oh, with the matching undies. Oh my goodness, so cute and pretty. Little pajamas, little pajama set. And they also have this kind of 
pink. That's really pretty. And they always have really good offers on here as well. Like I'm just spotting they have a mix and match offer and they have up to 40% off. Last time I was in here, they had a really good offer on before Christmas. And I actually got my sisters a lot of pajamas from here as well. And they absolutely loved them. Oh, this is so pretty. Connor is gonna literally be like, what are you doing? If I come away with another, if I come away with another robe, like I don't need it, but I kind of do at the same time. It's such a vibe. Oh, I wonder if it's this stuff as well. Cause that looks really pretty. Oh yeah, with the little hearts on. So lovely for Valentine's. They actually also do kind of hand and body care as well. And I'm gonna be trying those as well. And I picked the raspberry flavor. Morning everyone. I feel like I only ever vlog in my pajamas nowadays, but kind of okay with that. But these are actually from Isla and Evie as well, which is the shop that um, I went shopping in yesterday. Yeah, it was really nice to have a look at their new collection. I did kind of wish that they had more um, like Valentine's Day kind of sets rather than just the, the bodies and that kind of thing because yeah, anyway, but I still got a, a few nice bits and I also actually got some loungewear, which is nice because I feel like, honestly, all I do is wear like comfy clothes around the house, so I need plenty of those. Um, but it was really nice of them to invite me to the shop to come and have, be the first to have a look. So that was fun. Dubai Hills Mall was quite busy, so I kind of just went in and out. No, that's a lie, I had lunch there afterwards as well. I had a burrito. I feel like that's becoming one of my guilty pleasures, is the Tocado Mexican. Uh, they do an impossible burrito, and it is really good. Like, it's very satisfying. So that's kind of becoming one of my, I hate the term cheat meals, because I don't feel like I ever really cheat on my diet because all everything I like I kind of eat quite intuitively so if I want to eat it like it's in my diet <laughs> type thing but it probably goes against some of the other things I've been trying to do like avoid super processed food and that kind of thing but you know not perfect speaking of not perfect went out to um surf club yesterday with Georgia and Kirsty, and I was like all I was going out and I was like yep I'm gonna have a really good night and I, do, I won't even have a drink but then the girls were having a rosé and I can't resist, I couldn't resist it. I did have a few glasses of rosé with them but I'm not gonna beat myself up about it because I feel like I don't want to have a life where I don't, where I miss out on like fun nights with my friends um, and I actually feel fine today. The only thing is we were stuck in the most awful traffic coming home like it probably added another like hour onto our night because there was a crash on Hester Street, which was annoying obviously, but it meant that I got in at about three, which is late, way later than I'd hoped. So I've only had about five hours sleep, which is not ideal, but that's okay. I feel fine. Um, but my voice, I'm just talking and I feel like my voice is croaky and I think that's because the music was so loud and I was like shouting and talking to the girls. But anyway, but anyway, that's what happens. It was really fun. It's a very good vibe. I would definitely recommend Surf Club for a night out. It was so busy. And I feel like so many times I've tried to go to Surf Club on West Palm, they've actually like turned us away because it's that busy. So yeah, clearly it's a popular spot. And I can see why it was a really good vibe. Um, anyway, yeah, so we were stuck in traffic. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you guys about. Um, as you know, I don't drive here in Dubai and I'm relying on Kareem, which is kind of like Uber basically, for national taxis. And yesterday on Instagram, I saw this story of a girl that was living in Dubai and working for Emirates and got into a car crash while she was in this taxi ride. Um, and it came to light that this taxi company don't actually have insurance for passengers during their rides and I found that really shocking and I did some research and found out that that was true they still don't offer the insurance and I just found that really crazy and I messaged Uber Middle East as well 
and they said that they also don't offer it. And I'm kind of just, I don't know what to do with that situation now because I can't have other option. Uh, I mean, that, that's a lie. Maybe there is other taxi companies, but they wouldn't definitely not be as used type thing. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try and do a bit more research, but I'm feeling, that makes me feel really like uncomfortable to know that they don't have insurance for their passengers or their drivers, I believe. And no, that actually, I'm not sure on that. I, d I don't know. I definitely checked passengers, but I didn't check drivers. So don't take my word for that. It might be different, but for passengers, no insurance. And some of the roads can be pretty scary in Dubai. If anybody's driven in Dubai, like it's quite an experience. I quite oftentimes will get into a taxi and not feel very safe. And that's, that's not nice to have that feeling. Um, yeah, anyway, I just wanted to tell you guys that, about that because I just found it really crazy. Um, so yesterday was, before I went to the mall, I went to my favorite cafe um, to do a bit of work, have a cappuccino, and I thought I'll let the, basically my flat was kind of chaotic because I was having a furniture delivery. This is not really that exciting, but I'll show you anyway. We've now got a shoe rack to store shoes in. Lol, I love that my shoes are still literally sprawled over the hall. That's our sofa. That's the sofa that I'm usually vlogging on. I just decided to put it there and I was joking to Connor that I did that with my new muscles, my new Pilates muscles, which is such a lie. Luckily, the people that dropped off the furniture, luckily the guys that dropped off the furniture moved it for me which I'm very thankful for. They also um, build your furniture for you as well which I, I do think is just so nice and convenient. Um, so they put together the bed. This is now, you can hear how echo it is in here which is kind of weird. This room is getting ready to be rented out and I'm hoping that I'll find a nice flatmate. I'm sure I will. But yeah, I need to, that's one of my chores for today is to get some nice photos of the apartment and I'm gonna make a nice Facebook post and say that I'm just a nice, normal 25 year old girl who wants a flatmate, ideally someone on a similar vibe to me. Um, and that's, that's very common here really, is to just find flatmates on Facebook and that kind of thing. I remember a few years ago, I found a flatmate on Facebook and she was really lovely and yeah. So hopefully that will all be a success. Um, anyway, on to more exciting things. Today is Saturday, which means today is the day we're going to see Hamilton in Abu Dhabi. So my friend Jen is gonna be driving us. She just got a car. And in fact, I'll ask her about how she finds driving because maybe that will be interesting for some of you guys. Um, we're gonna be driving over to Abu Dhabi. We're seeing the matinee. Um, my friends Brandon and Hanan are also gonna join us. So, and then I might get some dinner afterwards. And it's literally gonna take every single morsel of willpower that I have to not sing along the entire show because I love Hamilton. For those of you who don't know, it's a musical. Um, and it actually was on Broadway, like it was released while I was studying musical theater at college. So you can imagine just how much and it's, it's it's popular and it's so so good you can imagine how much we all loved it when i was studying musical theater we were obsessed i'm still obsessed i've i've rewatching the disney plus it's on disney plus the recording of hamilton anyway i feel like there's going to be a lot of you that just completely switched off then if musicals aren't your thing i'm sorry but i think going to see a great show is something that anyone can enjoy to be honest. And the tickets were actually okay priced. Um, we paid 375 dirhams, which is about, how much is that? 70 pounds? And the seats are, I think that they'll be pretty good. Like they're not that bad, um, but they're not like at the front. We could have paid like 600 dirhams, but we decided not to. I think it will still be a really good show. And I've never been to the Etihad Arena, so I'll check that out. Obviously I'll be taking you guys with me. But first, I've ordered a dough in the juice. I did it again. But I just thought, I kind of need it. Yeah, so I've done that. And I'm making banana bread. So I'm gonna mash up my, I've got some really ripe bananas. So what else to do but make banana bread? And I've also, um, before I went out yesterday, I also made some sourdough 
starter which is nice and bubbly now so it's going to be a sourdough banana and blueberry bread because i also brought blueberries yeah my the cleaner came yesterday and she's so sweet she was like i had extra time so i just cleaned out your whole fridge and i was like oh my god okay thank you she was like yeah i think you need to throw some stuff away and she was talking about the bananas and i was so embarrassed because i was like i'm actually saving them to make banana bread <laughs> anyway let's make this banana bread we are en route to Abu Dhabi. We're literally five minutes away. Excited. So we're off to the Etihad Arena, which I've not been to. No, I don't think you have either. Yeah. So we've not been. Um, very excited. I was just telling Jen how, how, like, I'm literally buzzing with excitement. I think you're you are as well. I'm aren't very you, Jen? excited. So excited. Yeah, we've to sit for a long time. And have we ever actually seen a musical together? I don't. Oh, think I we actually have. don't. Which think is so have. funny because I feel it's like musicals are like just, such a yeah, like a right core right, essence right. of my then personality right. from growing up. So I'm really excited, like, <laughs> to be sharing this stagey theatre experience with you. Um, and also it's made such a change because there's not much theatre in right. UAE, to then be honest. Right drive. Not many shows, like, this is a big deal for the UAE. Um, and I turn think it's right amazing that Hamilton drive. have, like, a world tour and that they're going to so many amazing places in the world to, to show this show because it's been pretty much just Broadway and West End for so long so this is really exciting um but I just remembered actually did you go see Phantom of the Opera or did you just think about no, it okay we didn't but we saw Matilda oh yeah oh yeah yeah, yeah. Dubai, I knew you yeah. saw something yeah because yeah there's the Dubai Opera House which does get some some shows but like compared to the UK there's really not that much so yeah this is a big deal um so yeah we'll update you when we arrive Very confusing to find the parking, but this is Yas Waterfront, lovely and peaceful and sunny. We've just been discussing our favourite musicals, which is fun. And we have got about 10 minutes, so we're going to head in. We're going to go to the loo. I want to buy a programme as well, oh, if yeah. they have some. Um, and then we'll go find our seats. Yes, yeah, I was thinking, am I going to get hungry? Yeah. They're quite long, but there'll be an interval, so we can maybe find long, something long. in the interval. Yeah. Um, Exciting! Oh. oh, it's a bit far away, but I oh will. Yeah. Like, you know how they have like this? Yeah, I know we're just here. Ours is quite small. Are you sure it's not the same as Did you like the show, Jen? I loved it. it Me great. too. It was so good. <laughs> we really loved it. We've just been catching up with Brandon and Hanan, who also saw the show. It was great, honestly. The, the cast is so talented. Um, I was so impressed. The theatre was really nice. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm buzzing. It was so good. Really, really fun. And it just made me feel like it's so nice to go see a show live and definitely something I want to do more of. So hopefully there's more good shows coming to UAE soon. having some pizza by the water. Look it's at this sunset. lovely view. That, that's actually amazing, isn't it? So beautiful. Um, we're just in Akiba Dori and there's loads of restaurants along this promenade, which is really lovely. So we're just having a nice catch up, enjoying the lovely weather, enjoying the sunset. Um, we're talking about Jen's birthday, which is coming in two days. So you'll see the celebrations <laughs> in the next vlog. Um, so we're gonna enjoy our pizza. There is a life I lead in this city Hurry and to cup my tea I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves slow Somewhere in the grave Marina view, coffee with the moon Marina view in the background, look at that What a cute little place We're just gonna have a little coffee George has got some croissants as well Oh, I've just got pink tomato face, but that's a good thing. We just did a run. We did a little 5k around Dubai Harbour, and now we're just grabbing a little coffee. We're going to have a brand. Yeah, I didn't realise I've got <laughs> tomato face going on, but it's good. Feel good. We're just talking about how 
good we feel and we're trying to commit to going on a few more runs. Um, who knows, maybe this time next year we'll be doing our half marathon. That's cute. Moody Marina, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, I can't remember when I last spoke to you. I can't even remember. But I've just turned my camera on and as you can see it's working. But I had to put it in rice. I feel like such an idiot but I must have spilled water on it in my bag. Because here's the rice look you can see and I've also got those um, absorbent uh, gel thingies. Lol at me. I really need to take better care of my things. That is like, this is a big eye opener because I was so upset yesterday when it wasn't turning on. And I thought I'll put it in rice just as a last resort. And it's worked, so fingers crossed it stays working because my it's my new baby. <laughs> anyway, but I think what happened is my Stanley cup leaks a little bit and it was in my bag. And I almost like didn't want to believe it that I could be so careless and put it in my bag. I'm gonna buy a case for it, that's what I'm gonna do. Anyway, I didn't vlog as well because I was vlogging my, on my phone. Um, but Hamilton was so good, we literally loved it. We went for some pizza afterwards. They didn't really have any vegan options for me around there, but never mind. And I've been to the Dubai branch of that Akiba, oh, I can't even remember what it's called now. But they had quite a lot of vegan stuff at the Dubai one, but not at the Abu Dhabi one. So I was like, oh, damn it, never mind. But anyway, I just had a pizza with no cheese on. And then yesterday, what did I even do yesterday? Oh yeah, we went on a run around Dubai Harbour, which was really nice and I'm really glad that we made the effort to go. It was me and Georgia, even though it was literally raining. And at first I was kind of like, oh, it's raining. Like, what, what are we still going? Do I need a jacket? But then I was like, no, it's not cold. A bit of rain isn't gonna hurt us. So we went out, we did a 5K and I was pretty pleased with my progress. Um, and I just kind of relaxed all day. I met with a girl who might be taking the spare room, but it's been really, honestly, it's been really exhausting because I've had so many messages from different people and I just feel a bit overwhelmed with it also. Anyway, it's actually now Monday um, and I didn't vlog yesterday because I was just feeling like I needed a day of rest. I'm really trying to like listen to my body. And you're probably thinking, Mabel, like, it's picking up a camera, like, get over it. But <laughs> I do want to give myself, like, proper time off, off of work and off of vlogging and being online as well. So that's what I was kind of doing yesterday. But today, guys, today, everyone in Dubai got a message alert on their phone at 6am saying that there's a weather warning. And it had already been released the day before that it was like a... a all of a city-wide work from home day, which I don't think has happened before. I've never, I've, I can't remember that happening where they've said tomorrow will be a work from home day because it's gonna rain. But that's what they did. And I'll put in a few clips of the insane weather uh, this morning. Cause there's just like nowhere for the water to go. So I was trying to, I had booked Pilates this morning and luckily I set off just a, little, a few mi minutes extra. I don't know why. Luckily I did cause it gave me a few extra minutes to walk round the back of the mall and get to um, the loading bay to get in because the front of the mall was completely flooded and I was actually wearing flip flops. So. <laughs> Anyway, I did my Pilates class this morning. Also, my new mattress arrived this morning, so that's kind of a win. I'm excited to have my first um, first night on the new mattress tonight, which will be nice. Currently, I'm just enjoying a bit of my homemade banana bread that I made the other day. This isn't the like prettiest piece to show you because I've actually just been eating it <laughs> and then I thought I'll do a vlog. Uh, so I've just been doing that. I'm gonna edit my video. And tonight we are going out for Jen and George's birthday, which will be very exciting. Um, and that will be in next week's vlog. You can see I've already done my hair for it, um, but I am in my pajamas. These are the pajamas that I got in Isla and Evie, by the way. Um, and I'm just thinking, what else can I tell you? Yeah, that's it. Sorry, it's been a bit of a quiet week. This one's just kind of like a chatty, quiet week. I don't know. I feel like well, me and Jen were actually going to go be on a pool day today, which was meant to be in this vlog. But obviously the weather, we were just like, no. So we've moved it to Wednesday, which seems to be happening a lot recently. But that's how it is. I'm just keeping it real for you guys. It's The reality of it is life in Dubai at the moment is not all yachts and beach parties it is currently flooded roads and banana bread and pilates classes so 
that's how it goes sometimes anyway thank you for um watching this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you to everyone that keeps coming back i obviously appreciate you guys so much um and i'll see you in the next video and don't forget to leave me a comment of what you want to see coming up um because you might have noticed i've been very active so i might shoot another video this afternoon for you guys let me know what you want to see bye guys